the story of the four-legged woman, Josephine Metal Corbin, made us believe that everything happened for a reason. Her story was and will still be incredible in the history of mankind. Josephine was born on 12 May 1868 in Tennessee, United States of America. She became the first person to be born with two separate pelvis, thereby having two separate wombs and two private parts. She also had four legs, which was kind of unbelievable and unimaginable. Medical doctors and health practitioners could not explain. She was some sort of miracle. Analyzing her birth condition, doctors found no abnormalities and there was nothing peculiar about her delivery except that she was initially in a breech position that was later discovered as normal. She already had four healthy brothers and sisters which simply proved that her abnormality was not genetic. She owned sound health and natural beauty. British medical journalist Lewis Will described her as a five feet high girl with fair skin complexion, curly hair and blue eyes. Despite her condition, she got married at the age of 12 to her beloved husband Clinton Bicknell and they both had five children. After their marriage, the other aspect of Josephine Metal surfaced. Her twin sister was sexually formed, making Josephine own two private parts. Her existence disclosed more mysteries, strange and interesting reactions when she became pregnant the following year after her marriage. Louise Will examined her when she revealed that she had been having pains on the left side of her abdomen. The doctor disclosed to her that she had two uterus and she was pregnant with the one at the left. Sadly for her, her pregnancy gave her a while lot of discomfort which resulted in miscarriage in the fourth month. But she later recovered and gave birth to the age gave birth to eight children, of which only four survived. Medical reports claim that she underwent labor from each womb and the strong woman gave birth from both sides. Pregnancy gave her a while lot of discomfort, which resulted in miscarriage. Her death quite surprising and a mystery. Luck failed her as she developed a skin infection in 1928 which refused to heal. Erysipelasis, a skin infection was diagnosed of which no cure existed back then. But in this modern era, the healing is a matter of taking simple antibiotics. After a week of diagnosis on C. May 1928, she was pronounced dead in Cleveland, Texas. There has never been a four-legged woman in the history of mankind again. Many medical doctors and health practitioners offered money for her corpse, but the family refused. They buried her and kept a close eye on her grave to prevent grave robbers from stealing her corpse.